They were 6 of 16 last week at Clemson. Empty set for King. Up in the pocket, now works his way back and going to tuck it and run. Has the first down. Will cross the 40 before he's finally taken down out of the secondary. Good run. Good decision by King. Just a three-man rush. So you don't have to be crazy in terms of that clock in your head of having to pump fakes even after you pass the line of scrimmage still work. <laughs> Here's Haynes left side and firing down was Lowry again. He got just enough of Haynes. Here's an empty set. Two to the boundary, three to the field for King. Syracuse brings five. First catch of the night. This is Eric Singleton Jr. And he'll be turned away at the 48 and a half by Barron. King looks, pump, shoots it. Blaylock to catch in stride. Into the secondary where Clark grabs him at the 36 37 of the orange. Jackets working tempo. This is Rutherford or Leary, beg your pardon, the star of the Miami game and another Georgia Tech first down. Kevin Jobody finally makes the play, but not before Christian Leary, whose only catch that night in Miami was the game winner, makes the first down yardage. Well, and Leary and Rutherford, you know, two players that do a good job of working inside in the slot. And then you see the run after catch that Leary is capable of. Kings hit his first three for 32 yards. Toss to Smith, trying to ride a block to the far side, does. He'll get thrown out of bounds. Pistol set for King here on second down. They're going to flip it to Singleton, trying to get wide here at the near side. Rides a block to the 15, and then his turn back right there. Bunch look to the left here for King. Quick throw on the perimeter, catch and stride by Haynes, but look at the blue shirts. Now Haynes going to reroute. Oh, makes a move. Jamal Haynes at the five. Jamal Haynes a touchdown. He was perfect on the drive. It was perfect on the drive, and he gets perfect help from Jamal Haynes. A lot of speed on this Georgia Tech off. Daryl Gill, who's only had five kick returns, will field one here at the five. 20, 25, Gill breaking through 30, and runs over a man who holds on to get Gill on the ground out at the 38-yard line. So here's Allen again. That's Bellari in motion, 89. They're going to hand to Allen. And Kyle Kennard wraps up with Quint Allen, shy of the 45. And they're going to hand the ball to Allen, trying to get to the near side. Got tripped up and then got hammered, shy of the first down by Mawala, the linebacker. Fourth and short. Look, Quint Allen again. That's Davis, the quarterback in motion. Allen will tuck. He's got the first down. He'll break the 50 to the 49. In terms of ball carriers. Here is Valari with Allen behind him. He will hand to LaQuint Allen, who picks a spot and does a pretty good job getting to the second level. That's Davis, the quarterback in motion. And here goes Allen, trying to find a seam, bouncing here to the near side. Does a good job. He'll get the orange first down, where he's joined by Omari Hatcher. And Valari going to throw, and this is Daniels the catch. And he will be turned back shy of the 30-yard line. You have to defend all 53 and a third Why? He's going to keep the ball. And Valari the first down, featuring the quarterback, Davis. And they'll throw it to Davis now. He'll make the catch. And LaMiles Brooks will take him down, but inside the Wildcat 20. on second and short. And he will keep it to the right side. He'll break the 15, and the Orange has got it first and 10 at Georgia Tech's 12. And Allen, who has Valari and Mang, the two tight ends around him. There's Davis, the QB. Allen trying to work into space, now in trouble and taken down. It was Kennard that kind of closed the angle. It's to not have negative plays for Syracuse. So Kennard... Basically making the tackle for a yard. Snap to him. He's going to run the football. Tries to bounce outside, and Georgia Tech's there. Eddie Kelly and Kyle Kennard again. This is 44 yards to put the orange on the board. Kick from Denneberg is good. Expect to see him now, but Syracuse on the board, trailing four in Atlanta. Thanks, Taylor. 70 seconds to go in this first quarter. Leary from the goal line will bring it out. 10, 15, and boy, got hammered. 
really need your offense to pick up a first down. First incomplete pass of the night for King. Now in the pocket. Here come the orange. He'll throw back. It is caught by Smith, but he's taken down by Thompson at the 25. So the ball will be put right at the 25, and that might be the final play of the quarter. And Georgia Tech could gladly run this. Molly McGrath will be here for that, Tim. Here's a play fake by King. Looking again, now going to step up in the pocket and outrun Okachukwu. He got nine, and then, boy, got really hit by Lowry, the linebacker, to play in that defensive line. Here's King looping it, and it's intercepted. Ball is picked off by Isaiah Johnson, the Dartmouth transfer. There is a flag down as Johnson is tackled inside Georgia Tech's 40 at the 39. So you're going to get cover two, but you're going to see Johnson um, basically get depth. And instead of having a go route, he just has a hitch down down low here. I don't know what Haynes King is really thinking about. You have a stop route. And even if he continues on. The tight end on that left side. And this will be LaQuint Allen trying to get to the perimeter. And that time again, it is Tatum. B, look at look at the speed of Tatum. He just gets to the perimeter. That ends up being the difference here. Basically an outside stretch starts inside to take on a lead block, but his ability. Valari and Mang, the two tight ends in motion here is Brown. And Allen wants to keep it and will be stopped. Two yards, maybe three shy of the first down at Georgia Tech's 32. Singleton in motion. They're going to make take the toss, and here goes King running it, and he will get near the first down as he broke the fourth. The defense is out there on it, keeping get inside. Quick snap, hand to Haynes, and nope, didn't get it. Had to get to the 42 and did not. So Georgia Tech at third and less than a yard. Here's King faking the toss, wants to throw down the field. Blaylock caught at the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Second touchdown catch of the year. Haynes King throws his 25th. Georgia Tech by 11 in the second period. Brent Key, what he adds to this team, he said, as much as it pains me to say this, he comes from a championship program, <laughs> so he has the mindset of a winner. He praised his maturity. He says he may not run a 4-5, but he is smart, guys. And the return by Daryl Gill is out across the 35. There is an injured Orange player, that's Caden Bailey, who is down on the kick return unit for Syracuse. There is a flag as well. And he's got Jawan Price in the backfield with him, the New Mexico State transfer. And Valari to throw on the perimeter here is Allen with a blocker in front and a lot of white hats showing up quick as he reaches the 14. And look at all the bodies. A couple of snaps. Allen again on the perimeter will get the first down, but... Quick snap, here's Valari, perimeter throw, that's Davis, the quarterback, his first catch, and he got hammered when he caught the ball. You know, kind of having a discussion on the perimeter about, hey, who was supposed to get this block? He ends up you know, basically saying, look, I need a little help. So third in the full 10 now for Valari. Allen with him in the backfield, they'll toss it to him, trying to get wide. And the Jackets, pardon the pun, swarming. Duku off the edge. Here they come. King's got to cut it loose. Does and Singleton the catch. First down at the 49 yard line against Zeke Johnson. They're going to hand the ball to Dante Smith. And Smith going to pick up five on first down into Orange territory. Second down. Leary in motion. Here is Smith again. Flag thrown as Dante Smith breaks the 40 for what will be a first down. But penalty is thrown in the neighborhood of. Here's King, keeps it. He's got five, he's got 10, 15, make it 18 yards to the 12. He protects the football. Haynes is a running back. King is going to throw. Low pass caught by Rutherford, trying to find a seam. Malik Rutherford toward the five, and Okachukwu and Elijah Clark, four and five, to try and add three more. And the kick is good for Aiden Burr. Basically run a wildcat every play. So he knew he was in for a treat. Here is Gill now coming off the goal line across the 25 with seven seconds left to go in his first half. With the two touchdown lead. And this is Gill a yard deep. Orange have been pretty good when they've been penalty free in this. 
And here is Gill across the 25. Ball is loose. And the Jackets have recovered it. You said it, Wes. I mean, they've been pretty good in the return game. And then it's just a great job by Maui, uh, Paul Maoa, the linebacker, number 13, covering the kick. He just rips at that football. He's able to get it out. And then Jacob Cruz, 35, I believe, is the player that recovered it. Sure looks that way. Freshman from North Cobb straight to the medical tent. Off the Syracuse 30. Here is Jamal Haynes, and he will score. Well, you know, perfect feet, but basically you're going to pull, and you, you had two lead blockers in here, and just watch the job. The guys up front, they get movement. And then there's just a an alley to run the football where Jamal Haynes, who you know, has just a suddenness and a burst to him. He's a former wide receiver and been impressed with talented young freshman right back out there to take the kick again. And off the goal line, here he comes. 15-20 and knocked down right at the 30-yard line. At almost 76 yards a game. Valari, the tight end turned quarterback and the ball is out again as he is hit at the 35 so the orange are into georgia tech territory a little option game now and allen will be taken down by jalen king option football team around these parts here is Valari, and he breaks through and dan Valari toward the 30 yard line quarterback and he will hand to Allen, who turns the corner, and Mawala will wrestle him down. Two, one, and get it snapped. Valari will take it up the middle. Reroute has the first down. Still on his feet. And he'll be taken down finally at the three by Rodney Shelley. Have to be impressed with the operation, Wes. They get, get a look at the defense. You have a tight end. Look over to the sideline. Get a new play call from the offensive coordinator. Isn't throwing an incompletion yet. I know they're at the line of scrimmage, but he's nine for nine. And they're going to snap it. And Valari coming to the right side. There's a flag down back of the end zone. Valari will reach in touchdown, for the touchdown, which would be his second rushing score if the play, the play stands. Out of. Uh, Plain Edge High School at Massapequa, Long Island, and now Jamal Haynes into the secondary, and the ball popped out, and the Orange have recovered. Haynes coughs it up, and Georgia Tech's committed their second turnover of the night. You put together a productive run. You see, Wax is the last one to get the football out. Going to go to Allen again, trying to get to the perimeter, and he'll be stopped shy of a 35. It'll be third down and about four he's six on third down here's the law he's just going to run with it and he got met in the hole and it'll be knocked down a yard and a half shy of the first in motion that's davis laquette allen going to carry it and he got knocked back horace lockett was the first guy to hit him but i, I really feel like there was opportunity front side here is christian leary on a quick throw to the near side better effort to the football by our players and we're certainly getting that tonight there's a throw to leary he's in trouble and a nice play in the open space by elijah clark and here is shanahan to punt and syracuse has double safety return in the punt game that ball going to hit and bounce to allen and he's at the 30 35 40 and laquin allen on the backside. shanahan the punter to beat and David Shanahan got enough of him to get him out of bounds, but it's in the Georgia Tech territory at the 18. Returners allows Syracuse to field the football, and with how they're playing offense, I think they should take every return opportunity they get. They get the football in one of their best players' hands and end up with a huge, huge swing. 18. Quick throw on the perimeter, Allen around the bubble and toward the 10. Second and short for LaQuint Allen in the Wildcat. There's Davis, the quarterback in motion, and here's Allen working to the left, and he will have the first down. First and goal. All right, first and goal for the Orange. Here's Valari. He'll keep it going to the left side. 
The angle there, and the Jackets got to him. Did they get to him in time? So Schrader will go under center. Going to hand to Allen, and there's the orange touchdown. So two TDs and three second-half possessions for the orange. 55 is who they call it on block hit. Haynes King in Georgia Tech. First down. Little throw across the middle. Rutherford to grab. And that's the fear, you know, kind of playing an offense like Syracuse's offense tonight. Yep. There goes Haynes. And Jamal Haynes has the first down for the 38. Derek McDonald the tackle. This is Haynes trying to work his way through a crease. We'll break the 41 and toward the 42, maybe 43. McDonald again the stop. On the determination there. Here is third down now. Full five for the Jackets. Pressure coming. Okachukwu gets to King in the sack. To the quarterback's helmet when he's protected in the pocket like that as a defenseless player is not targeting. Valari throws it on the perimeter. The catch is made. That is Gill. Right over by the Syracuse bench. Here's Valari going to keep it, and he's going to be hit. Got away, and now will be close to the first down. Just beyond the 35. I think they may mark him short. Schrader trying to sneak. And I think he'll have it to the 37. Certainly last Saturday in the Bronx and here tonight in Atlanta. And now LaQuint Allen on a throw from Bellari is knocked down shy of the 40. Braden Davis is the quarterback here. And Davis going to flip it to Allen trying to get on the perimeter. And a heck of a play against Syracuse here. It must be. Not good at throwing it right now is he's still okay too. Now they're trying to keep it. That's Price. And he's just gonna run behind his blockers to the 38. Ooh, that'll keep you up tonight. It will, and you're right, that's the right way to put it. Superstar at quarterback. And here's LaQuinn Allen, and he'll get a first down on the opening play of the drive. And he's on the verge of four of his last five, which would be his sixth of the year. Valari to throw, sets, fires. Damian offered the catch, plus territory to the Georgia Tech. With Quinn Allen now with Delari in the backfield. Takes the toss, keeps it to the front side, has 10, has 15, and inside the 25. Counter, if you will, or tight end counter for that matter, because he's the runner. But you pull the, the guard and tackle. And because of last Saturday at Yankee Stadium. Here's Allen. He'll try to find a crease, and now bounce off, and here's LaQuinn Allen to the corner at the five, and Allen, did he get in? No. But it's really what Allen does afterwards. And he gets wrapped up, and Miles Brooks has him, but he just bounces out of it, and just great effort for a guy that's carried the football a lot these last two weeks. Allen, over 100 yards again. And you see just inside the threes where he stepped out. They put it out. And here's Allen. He's got Big Perry with him in the backfield. Allen to the right side. Took a hit and scores. In the scrimmage, it's just you know, kind of one of those things they say low man wins. I think White was a little bit lower. But... the ball to Haynes and he'll get the first down to the 43. Haynes King gonna keep it on first down and get toward the 48. Second down. There goes King. Follows the block and will have the first down to the orange 46. And Tim with every first down. Pistol again. Going to hand the ball to Haynes. Terrific block. Haynes inside the 40 and a first down to the 35 before Barron makes the tackle. Going to hand the ball to Haynes again. Jamal Haynes picks up seven or eight on first down here. And Jamal Haynes. Second down. Haynes King will keep it and he's got the first down to the 23 yard line. Tackle made by Isaiah Johnson. See. Wouldn't be surprised Dino Babers goes to timeouts here. 
Here's Haynes King again. Right inside the 20 to the 19, and there's the first Syracuse timeout. And now here's King on the keeper, and he will score. Bricky might have preferred. Again, it's that misdirection in the backfield. That pulls a lot of the Syracuse second-level players towards it. And he is the throwing quarterback for the Orange. McPhail, first down, intercepted. That's Kyle Eifert. Two-minute situation. It's hard to come off the bench. Just trying to throw a little in-cut. Doesn't see Eifert there, and throws it right to him. So in a year where, in an era where people talk about maybe the three games of the college football playoff, and rightly so, bowl games are vital to teams that want to keep getting better. There's a flag thrown after Dante Smith got inside the five. What that means for this team and so many players that haven't enjoyed much success here, get the chance to do that, that's important. Brent King, Dino Babers, a handshake. 